I'm going to create this video to talk you through the first section of your NEA controlled assessment task for uh, which is 50% of your GCSE. I'm focusing today on the AQA specification and the assessment criteria um, from 2019. So um, we're going to look at assessment objective one. We're going to look at section A and we're going to look at identifying and investigating design possibilities which are worth 10 marks. Now those 10 marks are the beginning of a much bigger um, bit of assessment but by getting the first parts correct and, and, and making the most of them you open up the next lot of marks um, because you can feed into you can feed off your research that you do at this point so actually getting this bit right is really important okay so we're going to look at the assessment criteria specifically for that I'll just move on a slide I've created here three mark bands there's actually another mark band below that but I thought that wasn't necessarily what we wanted to look at and so the top mark band on the left here is showing us marks from 9 to 10. We've got 6 to 8 and we've got 3 to 5. Now, hopefully you're going to be aiming for the higher mark band. I'm going to point out where some of the differences are. Today we're only going to look at the top three sections in the work that I'm looking at to give you some examples of. Uh, when you come to doing this, Later on, you can come back to your assessment criteria when we come to looking at some of the other bits of research that you're going to do. But for today, we're just doing these top three sections. I'm just going to find myself a highlighter rather than a pen. Um, so if I just point out to you where the big differences lie between the different mark bands, we've got, um, if I look at the middle band for a minute, so we're looking at design possibilities identified and explored. That's probably your mind map in the beginning. Then we link to the contextual challenge and then we follow that with a good understanding of the problems and opportunities so you'll see the word good there that's that's an important one okay so next bit a user or client that's our target market has been identified who are relevant and you've undertaken an investigation of their needs and wants so again here's our word good explanation and then we've got justification there as well. So we're giving reasons why. And then the final bit is a detailed investigation um, into the work of others. This is existing products that influences ideas. Now, if you look at the difference between the middle band of six to eight and the higher band, we're looking at an excellent understanding at this point. We're looking at an excellent understanding. We're looking at the user or the client has been clearly identified and is entirely relevant so that's maybe an expert or someone who works in the field um, something that, that's really very detailed and then you've undertaken a comprehensive investigation comprehensive means really thorough and really really good investigation that keeps digging um, and look clear explanation and justification so everything is annotated and you're giving loads of information about your design decisions so you need to write quite a lot for that Okay, and then finally, if we do comprehensive, there's that word again, that means thorough, lots of detail, uh, and into the work of others. Now, that's existing products, but it might be other designs that are similar. So the difference really between the top band and the lower bands is we're looking at goods, and we're looking at goods, and we're looking at good here. And then if we look at the three to five mark band, we're looking at adequate and sum. So that's where you only do a little bit. Now remember, there's a mark band below this as well. So make sure you're giving plenty of information. Okay, now I'm going to just zoom in on this one a little bit. This is the one that if you wanted to kind of come back to checking um, where you're going, this is the slide that you want to look at. And we're going to look at now uh, design possibilities, or whether you've done with your mind map. Okay, we're going to look at the user client specifically today and we're going to look at the um, investigation into the work of others. Okay, so that's that's the, the two slides. You've hopefully already created your, your first mind map thinking about the design situation. Okay, so if we have a look at this one. So I've created an example target market um, where I'm doing a made-up brief about having a healthy, healthy lifestyle, um, very similar to the 2018 brief about... Um, improving healthy living or something like that so 
uh, about leading a healthy lifestyle. Now, um, this mood board is focusing on business people, young professionals, and in the first instance, I've chosen to focus on um, business people. That's a, that's a little bit random, and I think actually, if I as I go through the research for the project that I'm beginning to get in my head, I don't know whether business people are the right sort, but that will, that will depend on investigation. Okay, so I've chosen to focus on people who are reasonably well off, meaning that they've got a bit of disposable income, and they're probably younger people rather than older people. Okay, now I'm saying here that I've made some assumptions and generalizations. That means I'm kind of at this point making up my information because I'm going to go out and find these people and I'm going to go and do my target research, target market research later on. So at the moment, I'm generalizing a little bit. Um, again, I think the target market would be simple and like simple and functional products and they're not too fussy, so nothing overly styled. Okay, um, I think it's important for this that maybe they enjoy a range of leisure pursuits. So when I come to looking at, at how I design for them, I think about things like um, there's a Fitbit there, I've got the, the new um, new iPhone Fitbit. I'm thinking about ecological architecture. Um, I'm thinking about sporty lifestyles, possibly about healthy eating. Um, so as I move through this project, I use some of that information to um, to help me. So one of the tasks that you need to do is to create a sheet like this which is creating a profile of your target market and collecting examples of products that they probably already use or probably are interested in okay and then we'll see where that goes um, when we come to doing further research and asking their actual opinions okay so that's the target market so I would suggest that if you if you were giving yourself an allocation of time that's probably to do that correctly about an hour um, half an hour maybe if you, if you do it relatively quickly if you know what you're doing half an hour to an hour you're then going to follow up with your target market research later on next thing i'm going to do if you remember we were looking at um the work of others was one of our assessment criteria um the brief that i'm coming back to is the um, encouraging healthy living uh, and that i've decided to focus in on the kitchen area maybe healthy eating possibly um with children so uh so young families with children are beginning to sort of tighten up my my design thinking a little bit so i've looked at two possible areas where it might be relevant so on the one hand i've got a range of um I need to change my pen there a range of different footstools or um, hop-ups or little fold down ones i think those would be really interesting i've seen these in action um, I think having something that folds out of the way and can be brought out when you need it would make a really interesting mechanism within the kitchen and allow people who maybe couldn't to get involved in cooking. Um, that might be people with disabilities, that might be people who are little, like young people, uh, children. Um, and then I've also looked at um, utensils. So I've kind of got at the moment, I haven't really totally decided which, which direction to go for with this, but I know I want to do something to the kitchen I know I want to do something relatively modern and forward thinking because that's what my target market want so I'm giving myself at the moment two possible options so I'm looking at um, some safe tongs and you can see these ones are used for picking things up uh, this is a comfortable grip which is used for chopping herbs very similar to a, to a pastry maker actually um, this one I think is specifically designed for people who maybe um, have have additional needs in terms of um, weak wrists or arthritis or something uh, but I thought that might be quite an interesting one in terms of ergonomics quite a good possibility um, and I like this I don't think they're actually part of the same range when I was doing my research on this they're different companies I believe um, but you can see how that brightly colored um, options quite interesting and then what I've done is I've talked about on here I'm, I'm referring suitable for the brief of helping to create a healthy lifestyle I've said where I'm going to do it, concentrating on the kitchen, and I'm making it specifically safer for children to cook with parents. I've talked about my target market because they like modern and smart products, which we saw on the previous page. And I've looked at maybe some of the properties of the materials, so brightly coloured. So I've talked about polymers and I've talked about stainless steel. So I'm trying to be specific. I've then given myself a little bit of guidance about what I'm going to do next. So you're always showing the examiner that you're planning ahead. As a designer, you're, you're, you're going to be telling your manager, this is what I'm going to do next. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some research with parents and children 
to find out what they think might help them to cook. Okay, I will then look in more detail at existing products because at the moment I've got two possible options. I'm looking at either what I call hop-ups or I'm looking at utensils. Haven't decided yet and my research with parents and children is going to be what it is. So my next steps are really important. Okay, so hopefully that will uh, help give you a starting point. And again, I would say existing products, by the time you've annotated some of these, I, I, some of these would benefit from a little bit of talking specifically about their design features. Um, I'd say this is another hour long task by the time you've written about it and you've justified it a little bit. Okay, so this is leading me into further research. Okay, where I talk to my target market about products that they prefer. So good luck with that.